Today I'm going to show you how to make hair cards in Blender. I've been working on this method for a while and I finally feel comfortable enough to explain how it's done. Let's get right into it. I've imported an example image of what I want to make. This will help me visualize the end result better while I'm working. The first step is to create a curve. I choose path because I don't like the feel of bezier curves. You can use a bezier curve if you like, the workflow will be the same. You want to use the same settings I'm using here in the shape and geometry menu. We're basically telling the curve that we want to make it look like a strip and be relatively low poly. Next, you'll want to position the curve on the head in an easy to see place. I like to set up my material at this point so I can more easily visualize what the hair will look like while I'm working. For my textures, I'll be using Zinpia's hair textures. There is a link to them in the description of the video. I add three image textures, one for the base color, one for the alpha, and one for the normal map. Make sure your normal map's color space is set to non-color and that it's passing through a normal map node. Also, ensure that your blend mode is set to alpha hashed. You'll need to make sure your rendering engine is set to Eevee to enable this setting. You can see the hair is still not looking quite right. We'll need to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. Connect the vector output into the vector inputs for all three image texture nodes first. Then you'll want to connect the texture coordinate node's UV output to the mapping node's vector input. If you're using different textures, you'll have to play around with these settings more until the texture starts to look like hair. If you're using Zinpia's hair texture pack, you can just use the same settings I'm using. Now that our hair strands look like hair, we can start placing our curves where we want them. I'm going to speed through this part, assuming you know how to move and manipulate curves.
Once you're happy with your hair, you can convert it to a mesh. Then you're going to remove the mapping node from our texture and manually UV map each strand. I like to go by section, so I'll start off with the hair on the scalp. This hair won't need to take advantage of the alpha map, so I'll be placing it entirely inside one of the textures. Next, I'll be working on the ponytail. I'll try to UV the strands between a few hair textures to give it diversity. For the bangs, I'll use smaller pieces of hair while still trying to be diverse. I spend a lot more time on the bangs texture placement. This was the most time consuming part. I was lazy when it came to the hair clip. You can texture these kinds of things however you like. I ended up cheesing it to look like hair, sort of. And this is what it ended up looking like when I was done. I hope this tutorial was helpful in some way. Feel free to ask questions in the comments or join my Discord for more Blender information. Thanks for watching.